Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial about creating a spiral stairs in Rhino. So, first step that we should take is creating the center of our stair box. So I type point and hit enter, then uh, type the uh, coordinate of your center. So type 0, comma, 0, comma, 0 and hit enter. So as you can see, we have created the point on the center of our board axis. So next step is to create uh, a vertical line as the axis of our spiral ester. So I type L enter and then choose vertical. Uh, for the length of this line, we should uh, type our um, height uh, between two levels that we are going to create the stairs for uh, them. So I type for example 3.2 meters and hit enter and uh, left click. Like that you have created the axis. Uh, after that we should create uh, the inner circle and the uh, outer circle. So I type uh, circle hit enter and then draw the inner circle uh, which can have a radius of uh, for example 0 0.4 and hit enter and after that the outer one will be for example uh, 1.40 when I type distance and click here and here each step uh, have a length of one meter. So after that we should divide the outer part of this uh, circle um, for the counts of our uh, steps. So I type divide it's enter and then click the outer circle right click right click and then you should type the number that you want and I want to uh, keep it uh, with the number of 16 and hit enter. That's it. So I type L enter, disable the center check mark, I like that. After that, we uh, polar array this uh, to create other lines. So I go here and choose polar array and choose the center of array uh, and type 16 and hit enter and enter and enter like that uh, these are the basis of each step uh, we have to create a nosing part for steps too so I draw another line for example here to here and then again uh, I should polar array this too but before that I uh, send this line to another layer for example to this one and type nosing uh, after that I polar array this too okay and after that we should create a boundary between these lines here after that we should create a boundary from these lines uh, that we have here but uh, I just want to create one of them and then I will array polar uh, that object to create other steps too so I type uh, so I choose these lines and then I type curve boolean and choose this one and for the part of the basis of uh, these steps I choose this and this and create uh, the basis of this step and change the layer of it to this layer and after that again I choose the lines and again curve boolean like 
like that. And I choose this one and uh, move it to 18 centimeter in the Z axis. And this one should be extruded. And this part should be extruded and uh, reach to to base of this nosing. So I type extrude. Like that. And then I extrude this one. Like that. And I change the layer of this to nosing. And this is the step. Okay, uh, I choose both of them and group them. And after that, I should uh, polar array this. So I click the group and choose the polar array. And this is the center of array and um, we have 16 we have 16 steps and we want z offsets for 20 centimeters and uh, it's inter, inter and inter that's it we have created our steps and nosing uh, the next part is to define to define a railing around the inner circle and the outer one. So next step is to create the railings around the inner circle and the outer one. So I choose the inner one and extrude it. Uh, and we, uh, we should uncheck the solid. So we have just a surface after the extrusion. Uh, it's completed and now we should uh, split some parts of this uh, inner uh, railing so I type I, I choose vertical helix uh, for the axis I choose here and the, in, uh, the end of axis will be this part and uh, make sure that the turns is set to 1 and I choose it for this point that's it and after that I should offset uh, this on this surface so I type offset offset curve on surface and then we should choose the base surface uh, and I choose a true point so I can easily click wherever I want for example here and another part will be for example here and right click delete the parts that uh, we don't need like that and after that we should split this space surface by these two lines that we just created but before that make sure that your uh, line is uh, connected to the other parts of uh, the line we uh, made offset from it so uh, choose this part and uh, join it to the other part like that And then choose your surface and split it. Like that and delete uh, the parts that we don't need. And then choose your surface, join it to the other part. Uh, and then make, uh, make an offset from it. 
offset surface flip and for example we can have 3 cm or 2 cm for that so I type 0 0.02 and hit enter like that we have created the inner part and for the outer part we can choose this and make a copy and scale it so I go to the scale part scale 2d or scale by plane the reference point will be here and this is gonna be this part that's it we have created our spiral there so the next step is to create the railing uh, on these uh, parts which we have in, uh, on the inner and outer parts so I type extract ISO curve and hit enter choose the mm, surface and click on uh, the surface like that uh, after that we click it and extrude this for example um, 90 centimeter like that and we won't just um, offset surface so offset surface both sides and type 0 0.004 right click like that and change the layer of this to uh, another one for example here change it and type it uh, as a glass and then uh, again click on the curve make a copy from it by holding alt and clicking on uh, the blue uh, arrow that we have on the z-axis and type 0 0.9 hit enter and then pipe it with the radius of for example 0 0.02 and the cap will be rounded like that and choose this and bring it on layer 4 and rename it to for example handrail and that's it that's all that we had to do for creating the spiral stairs uh, just change the colors of the layers so that uh, when we go to arctic view everything uh, should be clear and uh, so simple so I click on uh, arctic and as you can see we have created our steps uh, just remember that you can change the material of this glass by going to the material panel and uh, choosing the custom one uh, color can be for example like that okay that's it uh, we have created our uh, spiral stairs and uh, you can change the radius of the inner circle and outer circle by defining different values for uh, the radius and I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial uh, comment uh, below this video if you have any questions or any um, suggestions for other tutorials and uh, stay tuned with this channel and have good days ahead